Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial and in this video we're going to learn about how to do HDRI images within Eevee and how to see those real-time because it's actually pretty sweet it's one of the most useful things that I think I use in Blender since Blender 2.8 is some of the lighting things and how it can calculate it real-time anyway yeah so Eevee is pretty sweet in being able to do that to use it we first have to, so this is actually what we're going to create, just a simple ball that has a really nice shadow created from an HDRI image as well as nice reflections and you could render this and it would come out better obviously but uh, not much because EV it's it's pretty it's pretty close to the way Cycles renders so let's, I'm going to show you a website this is a great place to go for HDRIs. If you haven't been here before, this is 100% free HDRIs for everyone. I just literally just read what was on their front page. This is this is super cool though because in the past, um, HDRIs have been kind of expensive for what you get. I mean, not what you get. It's it's really useful, uh, but it's just this, it's just an image that you wrap around your scene, and you can actually emulate the same lighting that comes from real lighting in your scenes in Blender or in any other 3D program. This is a really nice feature. So I just clicked on the nature category. So I just went to HDRIs and click on nature. And I scrolled down and I think I picked this beach one because if you look at these balls you can see which ones have like good highlights and low lights and which ones have harsher shadows and I kinda like the way this one had the shadows so you can pick whichever one you'd like uh, you can also support HDRI Haven by clicking up there uh, but yeah so that's how you do that let's go ahead and get now into Blender and make a new scene and I'm going to delete the cube and add a sphere uh, spheres are just often a really good thing to create to see what lighting is going to do, cubes and spheres. Uh, but yeah, let's make this kind of reflective. So I'm going to subdivide it, and I maybe even subdivide it again, make it smooth. So now this is going to be really reflective. Uh, not reflective, I guess, but very round. I, yeah, it's very round. It's a ball. So now let's also add a plane. I'm just going to position it at the bottom so we can see shadows. And I'm just going to make sure that it's down here, really close. It can go through it a little bit, but. Uh, I want to be able to see the shadows, so if it's all the way up here, it can be pointless. Uh, I'm going to make it really big. Next off is the actual reason why we have this tutorial, and that is to add the HDR image. So right here, there's a little sphere button. It looks like an Earth with a pole going through it. That's the North and South Pole. You can go ahead and go in here, and you can click Nodes. You can do that. But honestly, it's way easy just to click right here on color. Just click the little circle off, off to the right and click uh, environment texture. There it is. Environment texture. And this is going to be expecting some kind of HDRI or, or more of a, oh, it's right here, equirectangular image, which is an HDRI generally. So let's go ahead and click on the image that you downloaded. You can pick whichever one again. And then we can activate. Well, make sure you go up here and make sure that EV is here, not cycles. Cycles will work as well. It's just a lot slower. So EV is where you want to go for this. And you can click on not this one that looks very similar to this one. This one is uh, look dev, so it's close. But click on the next one over and give it a quick second uh, to update. And then boom, you have near photorealistic results in real time that you can move around and see what shadows are going to look like with whatever object you have in your scene. And you can see that there is like a scene around it. That's kind of nice. If you don't like that, you can just go into the uh, orthographic mode by hitting the 5 on the numpad and it would just have colors. And I think what the way that's calculating is in the center of your screen, what color is that little pixel that is on the HDRI image. So it would be like the sand over there. And it'd be, oh yeah, I hope that makes a little bit of sense. But yeah, this is a pretty sweet 
uh, feature to be able to use in Blender and use it often, really. Not with just spheres, but like even when you get all the way to the end of your scene and you want to see how lighting works, throw in an HDRI image that actually has real lighting and see what your scene should look like, and then you can create your own lighting that enhances it even more. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, go ahead and check out some of the other videos that I have, and uh, yep, see ya.